can get into a local stud office where you can get a tourist information about the city where you are studying and that will experience and help you to know about the culture and it's it's a request to all our students that if you're planning as germany start to learn the language now if you if you can able to handle the language effectively then you can master anything it's not only your degree program even your life even your communicative perspective will change and everything will look good so if you're planning for germany then definitely you need to work on your language skills that is very important okay good and now we can move to geared to practice you can you can gear to practice german universities provide outstanding academic programs as i said earlier there are number of n number of programs you can choose according to your interest and university of applied sciences are offering a range of attractive practice oriented programs what is still more needed for you it's it's going to be a practice oriented programs where 75 to 80 percent it will be practical and 20 to 25 percent it is going to be theory so you don't need to sit all time in the class you can just go to the industries related to your masters do a practical work gain more experience and you will get op opportunity to collaborate with the expertise people are, who are in the industry so they are going to guide you so you get an opportunity to shake hands with the pinnacles in the industry and that will help you to achieve a super amazing experience in your life and again a lots of universities are collaborated with top-notch companies and industries in germany even many student programs are combined with practical and theoretical knowledges so university of applied science are making sure that they will put the student into a huge amount of practical exposure when it comes to a huge amount of practical exposure you don't need to sit all time and learn you can you can just move around and gain more experience that will help you to not buy hard things that will help you to achieve things simply okay and uh, and the last point is like potential unlocked so once you are like able to understand and deal with the experts you will unlock your own potential something might stop you 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 can break that because as you are not only sitting inside the classroom you get an opportunity to move around the city move around the country that will help you to identify yourself and that will also help you to develop your colloquial german speaking ability so that you can also become expert in the language when it comes to handling the language and in germany you can develop your intellectual abilities also and it is also going to when you are going to develop your intellectual abilities your personal skills are also going to develop and it will help you to freely reach your full potential so what you want to become if you ask yourself and then you will find a question and that question will help you to find an answer and the answer are like open in germany even anywhere you are it is it is you need to ask a right question to yourself if you ask a right question to yourself you will get a right answer and this country is also taking care and want each and every student to unlock their potential abilities and find their super awesomeness and they also support you through motivating you and it is all like everything you have to do it on your own there will be always a guide and for anything you want you have to go behind you have to go behind and but someone will be there to help you you need to know that and it's again a safe country we have sent even so many of girl students to germany female students female candidates they are like in a top designations now they they have achieved greatness it's a safe country by day or by night you can move around freely there in germany and the country is also very good in economical and political stabilities so you don't need to think about how the country is is it a right country to choose even in this pandemic situation they have overcome 
many hurdles and even they made their people be secure from the covid 19 and with all turns in it it's a safe place for you to do whatever you want and you can experience many interesting and amazing things in germany so now let's talk about the different types of universities there are there are universities and university it is also called as technical universities and fachhochschule it is called as university of applied science if you are into a engineering background and if you would like to uh, uh, focus on uh, more practical knowledge based uh, programs then you need to focus on university of applied science as i said earlier university of applied science they focus more on practical and less on theoretical so it is less in the sense you will learn everything out of your practical experience when you do something out of your practical experience and that 20 percent is to write your thesis abstract and profile because of that and 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 make sure that if you are planning to do your phd doctoral programs after your masters then you need to choose technical university it's not that if someone is studying in Fakok Shula cannot do a PhD or doctorate, but you cannot do it in the same university because technical university will help you to do doctoral programs in the same university so that you can get in touch with your uh, professors and with your uh, HODs, get uh, more knowledge about your doctoral program when you are in your uh, second year at the fourth semester but this university of applied science they focus more on to make you to be a very skillful employee so that you can be very good at your market positioning so that it is so easy for you to get grab a wonderful job opportunities okay good fantastic and this particular universities and uh, you don't need to think that university of applied science is going to uh, give me because indian student they have a intention that tech tu universities i need to get admission you don't need to focus on that you focus on your program you focus on your core what is needed for you and only two things you have to decide you are you planning to do your doctoral after phd program after your masters then you need to choose technical university if you are planning to become a very good skilled a uh, skilled person in the industry then you need to choose the university of applied science fakok shula will help you to gain more knowledge so and they also offer many other fine arts program where you can learn uh, business economics economics and business management and even uh, uh, clavier uh, it's like uh, instruments when it comes to music germany is again a pinnacle there i believe you all know that uh, beethoven symphony and all if you get a chance to listen to that you might come to know that how much interest they are showing on the fine arts and in the museum in the architecture sector so that you get several opportunities it is not that only engineering student has to plan for germany it is not like that if you are very good in uh, business administration you can do your masters in business administration you can also choose mba or msc in business management if you're planning for MBA, definitely it is going to be a paid education you have to pay. When you choose for MSc, you will get into University of Applied Science so that you don't need, it, it will be MSc, so you don't master's in science, you don't need to pay fees. It might be a free education or sometime it might be a less paid education. Are you clear with it? If you have any doubts, please make a note so that uh, at the end of the question and answer session, we can give you a solution for that good so i believe now you're very clear with your uh, steps what you need to do and it is going to be a 10 simple steps which is going to help you to land in germany so if you follow this 10 simple steps you can easily land in germany so i'm going to tell you what are the 10 simple steps and how what you need to do to reach your destination your dream destination germany and i can see your uh, good mm, many number of participants are getting added into it while we move on because of that i i, I started up, uh, picking very slow pitch because i i know that many students will enroll into this because because let them also get benefit out of it okay 
find program this is what very important you need to find your program and university that is the very first step you need to take into action and simply when you if you are planning for germany plan a year in advance that will help you to prepare all the necessary documents and all the additional support systems what you want you can add on to it and then you need to move with the next steps so the first step is finding the program because you as i said the opportunities for your core are many versatile so you need to know which program are you going to choose and in which university so if you are clear with i'm going to learn things in practical then in theoretical blindly go with the university of applied science if you are planning to do a doctorate program after your masters then you choose technical university so so now you are very clear that if you want to do masters and then your doctoral then choose technical university if you want to uh, learn everything theoretical and experience and want to immediately jump into the job market then you choose university of applied science so are you clear now so that this will help you to figure out what universities you can shortlist and and what kind of program you want and that will help you to easily trigger out what you want to do perfect and then you need to meet the requirements you need to meet your requirements that is very important meeting your requirements that is very very essential so you need to know because like simply just uh, uh, finding out a program finding out a university and just sending an application is not going to serve your purpose it is just you are going to waste your hard earned money so before once you find out your program and the university go to the requirement fulfilling requirement to get admitted at that university or for the program read the requirement so that is very important take a notepad go open the website of the university go to the fee structure okay fees it is free fantastic so go to the requirement what is required to get admitted in this program if they ask 6.5 ilts nothing less than 6 okay focus first priority i'm going to learn ilts and i'm going to fulfill the requirement what is requested by the university second what is required percentage or cgpa if they ask for 70 or 7.5 work on the percentage that is very important you need to work on the percentage what percentage is required you need to work on that that is very important and then if they ask you to write a good sop focus on the statement of purpose take your own time don't try to copy statement of purpose write it on your own as they use a machine learning tool to screen your statement of purpose it will easily find out the plagiarism check and it will deny your up admission application so it's better whatever you want do it on your own you can seek experts advice when it comes to writing a sop or even you can uh, find a best uh, partner like a, a learning partner who will support you there are so many uh, groups are there in uh, social networking sites where you can get in touch with them and be uh, careful with those people as well because everyone is not going to serve your purpose so you need to find out the right person or else you can also use a uh, grammarly uh, software app you can install in your computer when you want to write a statement of purpose it will help you just go through a uh, few sample sops but don't try to copy paste it learn it you need to learn because you are going to uh, uh, enter into a country where you are going to fly on your own independently so you need to know what you need to do on your own that is very important and that is very essential okay after you meet your requirements that is very important to plan your finance for your studies so you are so lucky that you are into a same platform where credilla has already helped many students to uh, Uh, reach that deemed destination by uh, giving a financial support 
Kandula, they offer a very swift and quick, amazing services to our students. Even uh, our students are, so many students got benefited out of uh, Kandula. And it is so uh, asset free and uh, easy repayment options are also planned. So, so you can just contact them. And uh, when it comes to uh, finance, uh, it is very important that you need to uh, plan on your uh, blocked account money. It's an annual amount of 10,236 euros, which you have to deposit in a blocked account. And you can either open, there are several options now. Earlier it was only with Deutsche Bank, but now you students are really uh, blessed always. So you can open it through Deutsche Bank or you can use Coracle to open online. Fintiba and Expatrio is also a newly launched uh, online bank where you can open the account online and they also have a uh, one time bank charges around 50 to 150 euros that you need to check with the bank while you start up this process. And once you are done planning for this 10,236 euros, and there will be also sometime application fees and courier charges and universities uh, administrative charges. So altogether, you plan your budget well in advance. That is that will help you to focus more on your uh, support system, so that you know that okay, uh, if I get admission, I know that I can uh, pull out uh, money from these sources and uh, deposit in my blocked account. And now you know that uh, through Deutsche Bank, Coracle, Fintiba, and Expatrio, you can open up your uh, blocked account account and you can transfer the fund to it. Okay. And now it's your time to apply for your program. So you need to start to apply for your program as you already shortlisted which program, which university, and everything you know that okay i'm going to apply to this university i know that i know what are the requirements so i've made uh, all the documents ready to apply for my uh, required uh, study program start up your application work with your whole heart and 100 percent belief that you will get admission in this university and you can able to crack that because because you planned everything so your action is not just simply as taken you have planned everything in advance and you are making sure everything come on place and then you're starting your application work. And for example, if your deadline is, uh, for example, June 15th or July 15th, please courier your application 20 or 25 days in advance because sometimes it will take time for it to reach the university post box. So make sure 20 to 25 days before in hand you send it some universities also accept online application some universities they request to send through a post so when it comes to a post make sure you send it in advance a 15 to 20 days in before okay because i know that you're uh, in india our parents are working so hard to make our education more smooth and more great and they want us to achieve greatness through education platform and i really don't want you to waste your hard earned money it's and again your effort in putting all this action and when we send the courier and uh, we might would have said to so many people that i've sent application to this university so i'll get it and you'll be answerable for them again because everyone even you might forget the your friends and your uh, neighbors everyone will start to ask you and you need to be answerable to them so you need to plan everything well in advance and when you are planning for germany you will learn many disciplinary actions you will become a very good uh, note taker you will follow more on time management so that that is very important for a student when you are planning to study abroad so everything you will come to know on your own get and after you uh, do that and and it's a time for you to uh, land in germany once you done with your application and everything you will get a short short offer letter if you meet the requirement and again i'm telling if you meet the requirement you will make sure you will get your admission so and i know that the student who are all are in this webinar or really wanted to experience something great in their life and they want to achieve greatness in their life because of that you are here so if you are here on time you are there to achieve something i always believe that 
small actions are the key to the big reactions so your small action today you have taken you are going to reach germany 100% you are going to reach germany so you are going to follow your timetable which has been created by you put a timetable take a action plan make a action plan to the today i'm going to work on sop and this is the deadline today i'm going to concentrate on my ilts listening reading writing speaking so take action day by day each and every action what you take will help you to reach the greatness in your life focus on it focus on what you want your goals are very important your goals are very very important for you for you that is very important so once you are done with everything your application reaches you will get reply within 45 to 60 days 45 to 60 days you will get a reply from the university and there are certain universities which uh, has a partner gateway called uniassist through that you have to submit your applications okay so then you need to get approval from again uniassist for stating that you are eligible to apply to this university so sometimes that vpd also you need to attach while you send courier to the respective universities and once you are done with your application uh, ad admission letter so simple that i said you how to open a blocked account you need to open your blocked account and fix an appointment with a local government german embassy okay you need to fix an appointment with the embassy and then you need to also take a medical insurance medical insurance is very very important for you when you want to go to germany so medical insurance is very important take a medical insurance fill up the application and add all the required documents and sometimes some university might ask for a notarized document uh, photocopies so even you need to submit that in the local embassy german consulate they will receive your documents and they will return back your original passport to you after 10 15 days you might receive a email that your visa has been approved once you receive that message you need to take a print out of the email confirmation and you need to submit your uh, original passport along with the itinerary the ticket flight ticket itinerary and travel insurance and your blocked account document once you submit all this to the embassy you will get within a week time if you submit through vfs you might get 3 or 4 days your passport stamped with a german visa you are ready to fly to germany and you are going to enter into a country where lands of ideas are there so you are amazing you are in to your dream destination once you land in germany you need to find out your accommodation and even before you land into germany you can uh, find your accommodation that is going to be a own gemeinschaft shaft where a uh, student residence hall uh, you can go and take a place in the residence hall and for one or two months again and then you will definitely find a good friend in your classroom so some people some students they want to uh, change it into a different zone so that you can move to a different uh, accommodation as well so this is how it works and finding a accommodation that is very important and once you find your accommodation you need to get a rental agreement that is very very essential to enroll yourself in the residence permit visa and so once you get your contract done with a uh, with a landlord you need to take that contract even for your enrollment and once you are done with your medical insurance for your university enrollment you need to take your medical insurance as along with you as a essential document okay. so get help is a time now so uh, once you receive the offer letter or admission letter from the university later the university will also guide you with a buddy student buddy who will uh, be your uh, initial point of support once you land in germany they might contact you and you can contact them 
they will uh, help you with the uh, direction uh, and uh, they will also guide you what kind of expenses initially you will have to spend on and this kind of help even they might come to the airport uh, for your pickup they will come they will assist you and they will also take you carefully to the accommodation where you have uh, booked uh, for your uh, initial stay and once you reach the accommodation uh, the very important thing is you need to have your kranken versicherung it's a medical insurance kranken versicherung it is called in german language medical insurance is very important you need to have your medical contract go sign your medical insurance take it and then you need to make sure your uh, medical insurance is done and your uh, rental agreement is done and then you can go to your university enroll at your university you need to go with your offer letter all the required documents which has been asked at the time of admission your medical insurance your rental contract and then your passport you need to take this to the university and there will be a international student administration department you need to go and contact the international students administration department the international students administration department will help you and they are always ready to help international students so you can go there and show your passport and uh, other required documents they will uh, do the asil pre registration enrollment procedure at the university and they will also give you a user id and password to log in into the course to your program and you can simply sit with your laptop and use your user id and password and you can just log into the course and you will become the student of the particular university and you are entitled to become a student visa holder and with your student visa you are entitled to enjoy many several benefits you are going to get a free bus tickets and train tickets to travel inside the city the state where you belong to where the university belong to and you also get uh, special discounts on uh, telephone bills uh, food in restaurants shopping and everywhere and even in the museum entry tickets and for a theater and for kino kino theater and kino are different theater is a place where uh, they conduct uh, uh, stage programs and kino where uh, you can watch uh, movies so you get student benefit uh, even in uh, in all your social activities too and once you are done with your uh, enrollment in the university you need to move to the next system next is very very essential you need to take care of your formalities this taking care of formalities is once you are done with your university enrollment you need to go to a apply for your resident permit visa so this resident permit visa and you also need to go to this resident permit visa and show your university enrollment and then your uh, health insurance and then your rental contract and then your blocked account and then uh, your passport once you show to them they will do a biometric of your finger and it is it is not only for uh, foreign students even it is for a uh, european students who travel from uh, different uh, state to different state for a study purpose in germany it is a system that if someone is migrating from one city to other city they have to contact the local immigration office and register themselves stating that i have relocated to this destination but for them a passport is not required a local id card is sufficient but for foreign students you need to make sure you need submit your passport along with it and they will also take a photograph of you they might ask you for a photo passport size photograph so you need to take it along with you and you need to pay a nominal uh, registration fees for enrolling so you need to make sure you have all the required documents before you go there if you go without uh, if you go with missing document they will they will 
ask you to retake uh, appointment and come and submit the all documents once you are done with that you can simply go and finish your residence permit program resident permit uh, extension and uh, they will also give you approval of the visa and with this you can go to the bank for example you can go to uh, deutsche bank or sparkasse is also a bank there and uh, you can go to that bank and open unlock your blocked account because uh, in india you would have blocked uh, uh, you have deposited 10236 euros into your blocked account so you have to unlock the blocked account with this uh, document you need to go to the bank and uh, submit it to the manager or to a account manager they will help you to unlock the blocked account and they will give you a debit card with that card you can able to withdraw money in any atms which is located in germany so that and there is also a limit for you that uh, you can withdraw only 823 euros every month not more than that so because they want to make sure that student are well safe and secured with the financial backup as a student sometimes they might uh, spend more money on uh, movies and uh, for social activities even you might take up a trip to different destination because germany it has uh, many uh, amazing uh, museums uh, uh, castles are there and even people go for uh, hiking so you might uh, get attracted to it and spend more money so they want to make sure that you don't uh, spend more money on unwanted things this is how uh, the system works in germany and you need to complete all your formalities and once you are done with your formalities you will get your resident permit in your hand you will get your uh, student id card you will get your rental contract uh, even you will have your blocked account as a unblocked account and you will have a debit card and you can start experiencing your new life in a different country and uh, as i said germany is always a land of opportunities and ideas you can go beyond your uh, thoughts you can work on it whatever you want you can seek assistance from the university and uh, there are libraries which have thousands and thousands of books for your reference a physical book and uh, now they also started to have a kindle version online version of books so you can spend a healthy time in the library and uh, learn amazing and interesting things for your life so and your 10th step is organize your studies so you would have enrolled for your course using your uh, online user id and password you will have the credit system credit points in the program structure so that you can know uh, for which subject or which module you have 25 credits you have 15 credits or you have five credits so you can identify what is it it is like 180 credits or 210 uh, ects you need to find out and uh, you need to work action on that so this is how the system works in germany and when it comes to university selections you can also use the dad uh, dad website d a a d that will help you uh, to find out universities which uh, you can choose it up selection of universities you can use uh, that to and and also you have uh, expert uh, uh, cons- ad- advisory firms uh, who are happy to help you because uh, uh, see for you if you want to take each and every action you can take and uh, sometimes you may uh, make error and then you need to do a self correction it might take time but the experts will help you and they will also guide you with uh, several uh, uh, sample uh, documents for example how to apply for a transcript uh, to apply to a university and how to get a letter of recommendation and how to uh, write a statement of purpose how to write a good uh, resume so uh, how to have a blocked account how to fill your application so these kind of things they can easily help you out it is up to you you can decide if you even independently you can give your best and get admission i assure you that because it is possible if you follow this 10 simple steps the step one finding your program that is very important your program and your university 
try to figure out minimum five to six or seven universities and then work on the requirements what is required make sure you are always beyond the requirement not below the requirement if you are below the requirement please don't submit the application because it is not going to serve your purpose you might just simply submit and you will not get you will get a denial email from the university so find out what is best for you and do that and i would like to also show you a video this will help you to understand how uh, international students had reached germany okay good and uh, i'll uh, i'll answer to uh, each and uh, every questions which is asked uh, so ov joshi i'll answer to you uh, because i'm going to end this and once we are you kindly watch this video this video is going to give you a trigger to make sure that okay if he or she can able to do that i can able to do that that belief is very important when you take action please don't compare yourself with anyone because each and every one is so unique and even you know in germany there are many universities offer uh, admission for student to have 60 to 65 percentage but you need to focus on your language okay so that uh, so don't worry language is very important and uh, you can also feel free to contact us so that we can we are also helping students to learn language in an individual platform uh, online and we have uh, expert teachers who can guide you to uh, and and again uh, it's so affordable for each and every one especially care has been given because language plays a vital role when it comes to german universities and when you are planning to study in germany so i represent meisters international so if you would like to uh, get a support from us even you can contact or else you can give your best by your own always we are ready to support our indian students to get this wonderful opportunity and now it's your turn so you can ask me questions i'm happy to answer so i'm super excited to give an answer to you all i have uh, 60% in my bachelor's mechanical engineering am i eligible for any program yes uh, rai uh, definitely you can give a try with 60 percentage and uh, you need to focus on and i would like to know about your ielts are you uh, available now so if you could say uh, see with uh, 60 percentage and then uh, if you have ielts 6.5 b1 level definitely you can get admission in german university so an ov josh how many how much uh, money do i uh, Uh, do i need for my living expense in germany it's 10236 10236 euros is required 10236 is required manasi uh, how i are the tuition uh, fees at german universities so if you are planning for a stadtlichen university city based university public universities there will be a administrative fees not a tuition fees if you are planning for a private university then it will be 3000 euros to 6000 euros per semester so you need to figure out as i said uh, choosing a program and the university is very important once you are done with it then uh, you can know what will be the tuition fees for it if you are going to apply for a university of applied science uh, even top university in germany there are uh, not top or uh, down universities all the universities are very good because it is a state funded university a public university so that uh, each and every university are specialized in particular domain particular core so you can choose any university and again ov josh uh, what are the entry requirements to study abroad in germany as i said the entry requirements it varies from different university to university so you need to know which university you are going to apply once you know which university then you can go into the course requirement and in the requirement you will have a clear uh, instructions uh, would have been mentioned so if you follow that simple instructions it is so easy for you to pass through and get admission in the universities can i stay in germany when i complete my studies uh, again ov yes 100% you can stay back ovi you have uh, got 1.5 years additional uh, 
a stayback opportunity where if you after you complete uh, see even if you complete in technical university you can get into your uh, uh, phd if you complete your uh, master program in technical university of applied science you will be into a job or into an internship once you are into an internship you will definitely get a job per, job once you get a job your visa from student visa it will be converted into a work permit visa and once your visa gets converted to work permit your taxes will be 40% you have to pay taxes okay your uh, student benefits uh, all will be like uh, removed so that uh, uh, you will earn money and you have to pay taxes so what is the difference between university and park okshule uh, manasi uh, as i said uh, universities uh, universities technical universities and university of applied science when you want to plan uh, to do your doctoral program or phd you have to get into technical universities if you want to work uh, and uh, gain more practical exposure you have to choose park okshule Oh, Manasi's uh, question has been answered. And uh, Krishna, what is the medium of instruction? You can choose. The medium of instruction is up to you. English medium is also there. German medium is also there. If you want to make yourself a very unique profiling person, then you can also choose a medium of German instruction. For applying to German instruction, you need to have minimum B1 level. And you also need to continue further learning the language while you are doing your studies in Germany. So, Tanya, should I go to Germany? Should I go to Germany for uh, my undergraduate program or post-graduation? Is Germany is better? Uh, Tanya, you can 100% try for your undergraduate because when you get into your undergraduate, uh, when, at the time when you uh, want to do your master's, you will be like, uh, you know about the country very well. Even you become uh, very good in your language. So that uh, you uh, getting your masters will be again easy, and once you're done with your masters, uh, as uh, I said, uh, if you are choosing for a technical university, you can do your uh, PhD. If you are you applying for your Fachhochschule, it's University of Applied Science, you can get into a very good job. If you are uh, going to complete your twelfth now, please plan for undergraduate. I say plan for undergraduate. Undergraduate that is good. And is German language a must to getting admission? Uh, Krishna, uh, German language is uh, very essential uh, uh, for 85% uh, of the universities. Uh, you need to have German language to get admission. And even for visa purpose, now they had made the consulate general had made it mandatory that students need to have a, a basic German language, at least A1 level or A2 level, because uh, most of the signboards and the streets and uh, uh, see, for example, uh, I'll say like uh, Three days before there was a, a student uh, who uh, he was a student in my institute academy for learning German language. He just began this German language A1 and after 10, 15 days of class, uh, he was forced to travel to Germany from by his company. So he went to Germany and he called me. He lives in München, Munich now. Brother, because of not knowing the language, I paid 60 euros fees, 60 euros fine in the brain because he got annoyed by the ticket because he bought the ticket but because buying a ticket is not only important in germany once you buy the ticket it has to be stamped it has to be done on self by the traveler so he thought buying a ticket he can able to travel but buying a ticket and then he has to stamp it in a machine which will be opposite to the ticket vending machine he was he could not be able to read german because of that he have not done he had paid 60 euros fine so it's a real experience from a real people I get every day. So I kindly advise if you're planning for Germany, please learn language as a first priority. Okay. Yes. Uh, sir, I have got 8.75 CGPA, excellent CGPA, uh, Krishna Khan, and ILT score seven. Can I get a public university for electronics engineering? 100% you will get, uh, my dear Krishna Khan, you will get. So please uh, choose your university and program and you will make it and focus on your German language because here you have mentioned 8.75 and IELTS uh, score of seven. Amazing. Good CGPA and good IELTS score. Now you need to focus on your uh, German language and focus on your statement of purpose, focus on your transcript, focus on your uh, letter of recommendation. Choose, choose. You will 100% get all the best, uh, Krishna Khan.
and uh, Kishore T. Raj. Uh, sir pursued bcom general 2019 passed out and has uh, one year experience with cgpa 7.67 but my total credit is 125 but german university asked for 180 to 210 credits can uh, he apply for german university for business and management course yes he can apply for because as uh, mm, oh, so he has got uh, three years of uh, bachelor degree and uh, now he has got even one year so we need to check with the universities, uh, we need to shortlist. If sometime they might ask for a preparatory program, it's called Studium College. So student has to go via Studium College through preparatory program or else some universities might uh, directly uh, accept uh, based upon his one year work experience. So definitely you give your try. You can try in the University of Applied Science so that you will get uh, admission, Kishore. So and then again, uh, Krishna, what is the selection process will it be interview embassy or university see for getting admission it will be only a university uh, interview you have to face you will not have a embassy interview because embassy role is different university role is different if university gives admission from a public university 100 uh, percent embassy will give you visa if you are getting admission in a private university your chances of getting visa is 50 50 but if it is a stat or public university your visas will be through 100 percent or 95 percent uh, you will through your visa okay and manasi uh, thank you thank you very much manasi uh, kishore uh, so pursued bcom general 29 uh, yes kishore i answered to your question right thank you very much kishore Hesh Patel, how about undergraduation in Germany? Do you prefer? Yes, uh, I prefer you to choose undergraduation because scope is very good. And uh, and even now uh, for job seeker visas has been stopped for a while, but uh, they are accepting uh, work permit visas. So if you have a very good language ability, you can even try for uh, German uh, work permit directly. So Ahen Mahesh, for undergraduation, do we need uh, to do foundation courses for one year? Yes, you might. You, some universities will request. Sometime, uh, if your twelfth uh, uh, ISA carry, uh, if you scored good, and if you have uh, German language well in advance in India uh, till A2 or B1, without foundation program, even you can get admission. So foundation student, it's called student colleague. Uh, student college or uh, in uh, english it's called a preparatory program it's a bridge program which will help you to uh, get admission for your undergraduation also criteria for undergraduation so criteria for undergraduation see in india we do 12 years and then go to college but in germany it is 13 years and then you go to your uh, abit uh, you go to your college and major singh Sir, I have 66% uh, in BTEC in EC. Can I get admission in technical public universities? Yes, you can uh, in technical public university. So, so major, uh, you major thing, uh, you would like to uh, do your PhD after uh, you complete uh, your uh, master's program. Then you plan for technical university. For technical university, 66 percentage, uh, and uh, I would also if you have IELTS 6.5. And then German language, uh, you will uh, get admission because uh, and see your uh, SOP is very important, Major Singh. So because in your undergraduation uh, you would have scored because see generally students in India we just uh, first and second year we just go to college and spend time with friends and then later after fourth or fifth semester we realize that we have to focus on uh, our academics and because of that we will attain the good percentage later. So you focus on your language that is very important. And then Mahesh criteria for undergraduation. Criteria for undergraduation is very simple. You have to complete your 12th standard and then you need to get into a preparatory program or studium college and get admission. Go and uh, that credit, uh, preparatory course, the bridge course will help you to learn language and help you to develop your core abilities in the skills for your uh, undergraduation program. When should one start? there are two intakes two admissions of winter and summer summer it starts in march april may and winter it's september october november so it is up to you for everything you plan and begin one year in advance that is good if you are planning for 2021 summer now it's a right time you can start now if you start now you will get a 2021 summer intake admission mahesh i've answered your question criteria for undergraduation i said krishna krishna thank you 
uh, criteria okay i said you again does india indian credits and etc credits are same ects it is different it's european credit transfer system so uh, see for this purpose there is also a calculator which you get in online uh, from our credit to ects credit transfer see uh, one to five they mention it if you are easy if your credit is two or 2.5 that is good to apply to many universities if it is about 2.5 then you need to build behind support to apply to it so behind support is like uh, you need to uh, uh, have work experience uh, show german language uh, advanced levels uh, and you need to get additional uh, letter of recommendation and uh, if you would have done any project projects uh, to be added in the cv this will help you to do that okay our answer to uh, all the questions and kishore teja sir some colleges as for gmat for management and uh, see that colleges are very less asking for gmat and gre okay so you're going to focus uh, business courses but uh, is it possible they consider equivalent uh, gre courses yes they will consider it they will consider gmat and gre are asked at very uh, few universities tu uh, technical university munich will ask for gmat and only technical universities uh, will ask but university of applied science will not ask for gmat or gre sorry sir uh, i have not listened properly your answer my question is i have 66 a percentage marks in btech in ece can i get admission in public universities of phd yes you can get uh, major uh, major thing you can get definitely admission with your 66 percentage and can you please tell me what is your ilts score can you type it major thing i believe you are listening to me right if you are listening to me if you tell what is your ilts band and have you done any german language if you could tell that will be very easy to uh, support you so you can even uh, write to meisters.international@gmail.com if you have any further questions we are happy to support you these are the students uh, who got benefit through us and they all uh, reached germany they are all studying in germany now so even uh, if you have uh, any doubts you can write to meisters.international@gmail.com thank you very much